Right now, though, we are focusing on managing that money, and we're going to need that help more than ever because you know that COVID-19 has impacted everyone everywhere. So, uh, Crystal Howell, she is here with us now. She's joining us now. She is a chartered professional accountant. She's also a certified internal auditor. Good morning and happy Monday to you, Crystal. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Great. Uh, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, so, and you're ready to educate us, share that financial literacy a little more with us. Um, I think we're going to be looking at as it looking at it as it relates to credit cards. Yes, we will. I just wanted to before we got into the credit cards, since we mm -hmm. are only female, making sure purses are charitable, and we didn't go into it much during this session. I also want persons to empathize with their children because that's who we've been focusing yeah. on, the importance of giving. So even if you have your allowance, you have your budget, you have your money that you would have earned from odd jobs, however your child would have earned it, you want them from a young age to also understand why it's important to give. And you don't want it to be in a way where you just take out a piece of their money and just give it to an organization but you want them to follow all the way through. Because I remember we were working with some young persons and they were giving their volunteer hours as part of the national service. And it wasn't until they got out there and they saw the persons in need that they really felt why their donation was so important. And you want children to get this sense of responsibility or this spirit of giving from a young age mm -hmm. because then it stays with throughout adulthood, and then they will understand that even if you are not financially the wealthiest person there, you don't always have to give money, but you can give time. So we want children to understand that as part of their budgets, whether it is time or money, it's important to be able to give back because then we build a kind of society that in a pandemic like this, you won't have to be worrying about persons who are only thinking about their own interests but they're thinking about the community as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, you got to think about the community as a whole indeed. And that's the message we were preaching uh, in those previous interviews about helping others in our community. And that's why we are always glad that we have you on because you help others mm -hmm. better manage their money. Credit cards, yeah. huh, it makes it kind of difficult yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. because it's an easy way to get access to readily available money you may think but you got to use it wisely talk to us about that yes and uh, we brought this up before in our earlier sessions but we didn't go into how we would educate children about credit cards because once they've become adults and they're working they can go into a bank and just get a credit card but many times they don't understand the responsibility that comes along with it so we want persons to be able to, as we said with the tax filing and everything else, don't keep it as something that's just for adults. Show children how credit cards work. Explain to them that unlike paying with cash or a debit card, the money does not just come out of your bank account right away. And instead, you will pay later when the credit card bill is due. You should show them your credit card statement so that they can see how the amounts and the entries work. Show them how all the purchases add up to one large sum that you will have to pay monthly and explain what happens if you don't pay on time, that you will be charged interest because borrowing money comes costs money and you want them to see yes. the compound factor that the amount that you owe keeps growing if you don't pay your balance at the due date and read them that alarming sentence on your statement that tells you how many years and months it would take to for you to pay off your balance if you only pay the minimum payment each month. Minimum. So you, mm -hmm. yeah, you want them to also see the interest rate and compare that interest rate to other forms of financing and borrowing so that they can understand the responsibility that comes along with it. And you can even make a little experiment out of it if you want to, to show them if you lend them a dollar and you make it seem as though it's like a credit card, and they get to spend it right away, then at the end of the month, they might owe you $4 so that they could get that kind mm -hmm. of feeling like, whoa, they really want to make sure you get a handle on 
and they will be able to understand that the credit card, yes, comes with convenience, but there's a price to pay for that convenience. So, Crystal, I have been told that, you know, I know, I know people, I have uh, friends who will put everything on a credit card, but then when they get paid, they'll put a chunk of money on that credit card. And I know people as well, a former colleague who I think you may know, who says, plain and simple, if she pays for something with the credit card today, when she gets paid, she is repaying that full thing. Is that the way we should really be doing it? Well, the credit card companies are going to hate me for saying this, but that's what I do. Um, for all the years on the credit card, if I cannot afford to pay off by the by payday, I don't buy it. The credit card for me is a form of convenience and to earn points. And I don't use it as a loan. That's me personally, but I am in a position where it is, I am in a privileged position where I can do that. I know there are persons who emergencies happen and they are forced to spend money that they do not have. So this is not a hit at those persons in any way, form or fashion. But there are Barbadians who are quite capable of paying off their entire credit card balance in full every single month. Mm -hmm. And I encourage them so because not only is it fiscally responsible, but that money that you will save in interest can go elsewhere. And you don't want the, this situation right now. COVID is a perfect example where we assume every single month money is going to come in. So we don't have to worry. We could just pay that minimum balance and live our best lives. So that's what Bajans like to, they like to live their best lives. But then you come to a situation like this where a lot of persons are not even sure how long they may have their jobs for or they've been laid off already. And that credit card balance where you only have to pay $50 when the month comes, now seems like an albatross around your neck because you don't know when your next paycheck is coming in and that security is gone. So this is why I tell people all the time, I know it sounds alarmist, but I always plan for the worst case scenario, however much I can do so, however much is in my capacity to do so. If you have the ability to pay the entire credit card bill, please do so because it would be in your best interest. If any kind of emergency happens, it doesn't have to be a pandemic, it could be the loss of a job. It could be a loved one that falls ill with a sickness that does not fall within the in capacity of insurance. It could be any number of reasons that your financial situation changes from comfortable to extremely uncomfortable because that is life. Life is extremely unpredictable. So you don't want to make a bad situation worse. Yeah, uh, well I got two comments here quickly from Facebook. Uh, that mm -hmm. I'd like you to respond to. Really comments, they're not questions as such. Uh, one from Adrian, our friend Adrian Emmanuel. He says a credit card might encourage <laughs> people to buy things they really don't need. And the other comment from Patricia Rollins, good morning to you, she says pres credit cards, presently not a good idea. If you can buy cash, you leave the, I if you cannot buy cash, you leave the items in the store. Or like Sandra said, and I just had a quick update there, or like Sandra say, if you have a job, by all means, you're a team. Right. I understand why people do that. You have to know your personality as well. I, um, I consider myself to be a very disciplined person. So I have my budget set out and I know when I swipe how much my budget is going down and if I've met the things that I must do for the month. So for a person who keeps track of their spending and is aware you do have to take into consideration some of the benefits of having a credit card. So many of them have travel points or they have cash back options. And once you weigh them against the annual fee, and if you're not paying any interest at all because you're paying it off every month, you can actually make up pretty decently, especially if you have large projects. So when I was for myself, I was building I would use a credit card for all of the purchases for the house and the amount of points that I would have accumulated would have afforded me to be able to, to fly uh, for free and even to sometimes book a hotel room. Now, the amount that they would charge in an annual fee 
is definitely less than the benefit of the points that I would have accumulated. So for me, there was yes. a net benefit in being able to use that credit card, but it comes with discipline because if you are accumulating a lot of interest because you're only paying the minimum balance, then those points may not be worth it. So you have to know yourself. I know persons who know they're not disciplined. They are going to go there. They're going mm -hmm. to see that thing they did from since Adam was a lad and they're going to sweat and worry about it later. <laughs> if you know you are that person, <laughs> cut up the credit card. Don't follow the card. <laughs> do not put yourself in a position where you encourage your bad habits. And this is where we have to be honest with ourselves and our ability to be able to be disciplined. Well, I tell you, Adrian agrees with you. <laughs> Adrian agrees with you on that point and you got some more support and some other points that you made. But Thanks, Crystal. Always a pleasure hearing from you.